Welcome to our channel. My name is Nikita from BSP Solution. In today's video, I'm going to explain what are the event groups. Event groups are those that define the types of data changes that triggers retroactive event notification or prorated calculation of a person's earning or deductions. There are three types of event groups, proration, retroactive and event groups. Proration calculates the proportionate amount for recurring element when payroll relevant data changes during a particular payroll period. Proration is a mechanic mechanism used to calculate the pro proportionate earning and deduction amount whenever appropriate data is relevant to payroll changes during a payroll period in which the payroll is calculated. Retroactive processing is a recalculation of period payroll result due to certain changes that have occurred after the original calculation was run. These changes events are specified in the retroactive event groups. Next is a event action. Event An event action links a process to events within an event group. When an event occurs, the process is triggered based on a set of conditions defined on the event actions. You can use event action to control the submission of features which use event groups of type action such as time card reprocessing and retro pre for late hires. Event actions control the aspect of submission such as if the process is automatically submitted when an event occurs or when submitted through a payroll flow. You can also use event action if approvals are required period to submission. There are different types of event actions uh, like resubmission of uh, time cards, retro pay for new or late hires and absences resubmission each with its own set of submission control rules some event action types such as resubmission of time card support additional submission criteria rules these enables you to uh, fire an action for worker in certain hcm group so let's move on to the application where we can see uh, where you have to define the proration and retroactive pay. Under the element creation page, when you create the element here, you can define the retroactive pay and proration here you can see you have to define or you can define the retroactive event group here and under the retroactive processing you have proration here you can define the proration group the proration formula if you create any proration formula and the frequency of the proration so here you can define the retroactive event groups and the proration group. So I hope it is clear to you. Thank you so much for watching the video.